Okay, so starting off, I think I'm going to have to take everything off this desk and just slowly bring it all back into frame and kind of just talk about each individual thing. So we're just going to go through it. Uh, it's going to be a long video. Hope you guys stick around and yeah, enjoy. Okay, to start off going through all the Zelda things, um, I guess we should start with the game. So to begin, I have the first Legend of Zelda on the NES, gold cartridge. Um, yeah, it's got the little guidebook with it, like little images. Honestly, it's really cool. It's like, I'm pretty sure they had a TV show and these are just like taken from the TV show. I actually have the original box Again, first game. This one I really like, I think it's really cool. I do have the second Zelda game also, Adventure of Link. This game is horrible. Uh, I cannot beat it, I suck at this game. This game is crazy hard. The first one's really cool. This one becomes like a top down and then turns into like a side scroller. Then I don't really know where any of my Game Boy games are, but I do have Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. Uh, I did play and beat this one on my SNES console. Probably one of my favorite games I started to play as a kid. And then it got taken over by Ocarina of Time. Speaking of Ocarina of Time, I do have two copies of it. This one's player's choice. I was like trying to figure out what the difference was. I didn't even realize. And this was the one we grew up with at the bottom. There is, I'm pretty sure, a black label one. I think that's what it was. Where basically, I th think all the change was they switched the last two dungeons around. So that would be pretty cool. Uh, I don't own it, but I would love to find it. The time came Majora's Mask. And I think this was the first one I got. I got it in high school. I didn't own it as a kid, but we definitely played it. I remember uh, it was just a little too difficult for me as a kid. So I have this one and well, actually holding side by side. And then I have the holographic one where it's got like a hollowed picture in the front. I guess around the same time would be this. I got this from a trade. Uh, it's Zelda, Zelda Oracle of Ages box. There's no game in it. It just got the like instruction manual. It's pretty beat up, but honestly, I like this so much. I have the game somewhere. I have both games. I remember that as a kid, um, but I don't think I ever beat these, but I like this box a lot. I got to find a way to like store it better. I mean, this is how I got it. It hasn't been in the best shape. So then for GameCube, uh, I've got Wind Waker, one of the best games. Love this game. Then I'm going to count this. I only bought Soul Calibur 2 because it had Link in it. So I'm going to count that as a, a Zelda thing. Then we have my Phantom Hourglass. Uh, I never had Spirit Tracks. I must have like saw it in the store and just thought it was Phantom Hourglass. So this is one that I've played a lot. I really enjoyed it. It was so much fun on the DS. And along with that, I got this like tin. Inside are a bunch of like Pokemon toys, but uh, yeah, this was, I don't think this came with the game. I think this came with like a case maybe and just some other little things for your DS, but it was like an add-on. Probably they sold it like Target or something for like $20, I feel like. Uh, next we'll go to Wii. Wii was the first time I ever got Twilight Princess. I know there's a copy of it on GameCube. I don't own it, but when this came out for the Wii, I was obsessed with this game. My weekends from school and things like that, this game was all I did. Then we got Skyward Sword, uh, a long time later, 25th anniversary. This game was so much fun. I played it nonstop the entire weekend, like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and I still didn't have the game beat. And every time I thought it was gonna end, it never ended. It just kept going. With Tears of the Kingdom, I'm kind of hoping maybe there's DLC where we get Link's Red Loftwing. A weird game, Link's Crossbow Training. Yeah, I don't have like the shooter for it, but I got the game, not that much fun. Someone's gonna hate on me for saying that. Then for DS, we have these four. Uh, Ocarina of Time is one of my favorite games, hands down. I just played it on stream right before Tears of the Kingdom. Fully through, I loved it. This game I will buy every time. Uh, Hyrule Warriors Legend, I just buy Nintendo stuff if 
it relates to like games I love. So anything Pokemon, anything Zelda, I basically buy it every time. <laughs> I don't like hack and slash, just like run around and just beat everything up. I think it's cool, but after about like 30 minutes, I'm over it. This was the first time I actually ever beat Zelda Majora's Mask. It took me a really long time. I remember I got this at college and I like played it in between classes on like trips with friends. But this game was so much fun. It was really cool. And like I said, as a kid, I couldn't beat it. As an adult, I uh, beat it, got every mask and everything. It was cool. Link Between Worlds. My friends hate me for this one. I played it and I got all the way to the final boss and I stopped playing. So uh, I still haven't beat it. I'm very close. Then since I already skipped through these, I'll go back. I have the booklets from N64 for Two Majora's Mask and uh, Ocarina of Time, just like keeping in my collection. Wii U games, we go with Zelda Twilight Princess HD. Switch came out. I couldn't get the Switch. I missed like the midnight release, couldn't get it because college. So I got this and I wound up 100%ing the Wolf Link Amiibo I got with it and using that in my playthrough of Breath of the Wild. Then Hyrule Warriors, same thing applies as the last one. Got it because I like Zelda. Played it. Not exactly for me. The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD Edition. A little messed up the case. I think I got this from GameStop. I only bought this one because we'll go real quick. And I guess we're going to consoles real quick. I got the Wind Waker Wii U Edition and it came digitally on this, I'm pretty sure. And I was like, well, after I just buy this, I don't want to buy the game again. So I wound up not buying this until I found it on sale. Also, using this right now, this is so nice. I forgot how great the Wii U was. We also have for Switch now, The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, special edition, comes with an art book, the game. I am pretty sure I, nope, never opened it. Yep. <laughs> I thought I opened it to look at the book, but I have never opened this. I've kept it sealed. Um, I haven't really wanted to play it. I thought it was cool, but I just didn't have the time. And even now, I still don't really have the time, especially with Tears of the Kingdom out now. Breath of the Wild, great game. Love it. As we all know, it's doing great things for the franchise right now. Seven years ago, this came out. Now we've got Tears of the Kingdom, and it's being rated 10 out of 10 by, like, everybody. So, really excited about that. Skyward Sword HD. Had to get it for uh, Switch. I was going to play it on stream. I got, like, 30 minutes in, and then we wound up stopping for Minecraft. So, maybe we'll go back and play this. I'd love to beat it again, but I just remember how long it took to beat last time. Somewhere is my Tears of the Kingdom game case. We do have the Zelda Skyward Sword uh, Joy-Cons. They are in here. I did open them at one point. I put them back because I just have too many sets of Joy-Cons. I don't really need them. And I kind of want to keep them nice. So these are in here. Uh, we've got Oracle of Seasons little guidebook. Really cool. I love the art that they used to do in these. Now you don't really get guidebooks anymore. People just don't really make them. But I love these. I always thought they were really cool as a kid. I would keep like every single one. Uh, I do have another copy uh, of Twilight Princess Wii U Edition with the Wolf Link Amiibo. It's sealed. I've never opened this. Don't really know why I have two, or I got two, but um, I think I might have got it for a friend, and then he was like, oh, I already got it. And I was like, well, I already bought it, so I might as well just keep it. So Then we have the new Pro Controller. Tell me the price. Uh, if you saw my other video, you know that I bought everything I could for uh, Tears of the Kingdom. Except for the Switch case, everyone's getting on me about the Switch case and the spoon from Japan. But we did get the Pro Controller. It's on my desk. I'm going to be using it to stream Tears of the Kingdom later today. But yeah, this was really cool. I love all the Pro Controllers. I definitely think this is worth the pickup if you don't have it. And you can find it. Uh, I've got the Majora's Mask 3DS. I don't know what to say. It's the one I used as soon as I got it on the back. Um, still gold, everything like that. It's got the masks on the front. Goron, Fierce Deity, Zora, Deku, and then Majora's Mask. Love this system. It has been through a lot. I threw this in backpacks, bags, on vacation trips. But yeah, I got this Wii U controller that plugs into like your... Is it going to show it? I have it out of the box, I'll show you. But it plugs into your like uh, Joy-Con. Yeah. Wii Remote? Wii Remote. And yeah, it was all edition. I bought it. Not going to lie. Bought it because it looked like the GameCube controller. Quality was not there, but still pretty cool that I got it. Here it is. You can see it. You can maybe hear it. It's not the, it's, it's cheap, but it plugs in. So it's pretty cool. It's got like turbo on it and things like that. I don't really know what I would use it for, but it's cool. Then, cause I collect everything. I save all the boxes. So 3DS XL, Zora, Majora's Mask, whatever. Box, kept that. It's got the papers in it still. 
Then it was Black Friday, one Thanksgiving, and they sold a 2DS with The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. It's still in here, I have never opened it. This was just a really cool collector's item I wanted to keep and I really wanted. So they were running a deal and I was able to pick it up. Ocarina of Time, like I said, is my absolute favorite Zelda game. Had to buy it. Then we got the big one. My Wind Waker, Hyrule, uh, Wii U. I kept the box. Digital promo for the game guide. I wound up actually buying the real guide. So I'm pretty sure I got two digital copies. One came in the real guide and one came in this guide. Uh, I'll take all the guides out later at the end of the video. I'm glad I kept the box. My mom convinced me to do it. Otherwise, I definitely would have just broke it. Then we have this little Game Boy case that I had as a kid. It's got Zelda Phantom Hourglass. This probably came in that box. Um, I'm assuming. Got a little belt loop. Early, like, 2000s DS and Game Boy things were crazy. I wish they did things like this still. This is, like, so nostalgic and weird. I love it. And the Tears of the Kingdom case. Game is in the Switch. If not, it's going in my game case. I'll show you guys that because it's actually pretty cool. My game case is the Sheikah Slate uh, from the special edition for uh, Breath of the Wild. We'll go through that. Inside are just all my games, a little stand, and then I put my Amiibo cards here. And then Switch goes in here. Uh, I'll show you guys the Amiibo case that comes in, but the Amiibo cards are separate. But yeah, this is everything I keep with me. I'll do a video on it at some point, but this is still the case I use. This is why I didn't get the case for Tears of the Kingdom. This one is still amazing and I love it. We have Breath of the Wild, little Joy-Con grip. I really hated playing the Joy-Cons in handheld mode. So I would opt for this anytime I could. Then we have this Switch decal. Uh, I think I got it for Christmas from like my parents when, when I got the Switch. Never opened, never used. Maybe I'll throw it on the new collector's edition Switch, Zelda edition. This one's way cooler, obviously. Speaking of Tears of the Kingdom, I think it goes this way. We have the wood plaque from pre-order. That's pretty cool. Honestly, one of the best pre-orders I've gotten in a really long time. Really glad that Nintendo's kind of stepping their, up their game again because everything lately has kind of sucked. So I like this. Then we have the gold N64 Zelda controller. Uh, it's very old, very dirty. I definitely have to clean it. It's been in a box, if you guys saw the beginning when I went through everything, but gold N64 controller goes with the Golden Drawers Mask games, everything like that go with the controller we also have the gold n64 it's a little beat up it wasn't mine growing up i actually got it in a trade with a friend so that's really cool really excited that i have this in my collection i have a few n64s so it's nice to uh have the zelda edition then some more pre-order things and some i think it was from nintendo website themselves like you're just trading points majora's mass soundtrack official soundtrack still sealed and then Twilight Princess HD soundtrack, still sealed. I didn't really open any of these. I didn't really feel the need to. Majora's Mask was a really creepy take on Zelda. And I feel like it started the trend with like Twilight Princess and things like that. So the fact that I've got both of these is really cool. Then from again, Zelda website or Nintendo website, you can trade in points. And I'm pretty sure I got these uh, playing cards. Uh, I don't actually use these, but we'll flip through them real quick. They just have a bunch of things. They're really flimsy cards. So they're not really the best to play with, but it's got everything from like Ocarina of Time, uh, Majora's Mask, and they're just really cool. There's all the different games. So you got Skyward Sword right now. Then there's Skyward Sword Link and all of them. Um, Wind Waker. There you go. And then 8-Bit, which is probably NES. Just Link, yeah. And then Joker's Tingle. These are really cool. Uh, Nintendo did a few card sets. I think I have Animal Crossing cards and Mario cards too. When Ocarina of Time was re-released, they did toys. So I had the original toy growing up with Link and Ganon and Epona and the rest of them. But when I saw this in the store, I was like, why am I not going to just buy this? This is a toy I would have loved to have as a kid. So I thought maybe one day my kids could play with them. We got these little Zelda figurines again um, from Nintendo World, Wind Waker, Deku, and then... Red Link from 8-Bit, things like that. Again, just little toys. Maybe my kids want to play with them. If not, they're just cool. I like having them. Then the toys I absolutely would have loved to have as a kid. Wind Waker, little tiny like figurine and like arena kind of sets. Uh, I guess there was three. I only have two. But yeah, they all kind of connect with like puzzle pieces. But there's the Ganon one with like the door time. Then you have... Uh, pirate captain that turns out to be somebody but yeah this toy set 
Then they had like little figures with Link, his sister, his grandma, then Ganon, the king, and Tetra. And then Link, a Deku, and a, what is it, Bokoblin? Bokoblin. Honestly, these toys would have been so much fun to have as a kid. I love things like this. Oh, yeah, wait, that's all of them. I'm literally just missing. Wow, that's sad. Then we have a Zelda puzzle. This looks fun to do, but there's so many dark gray background pieces that it is almost impossible. This took forever to do. Then uh, Target sold this, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I kept it sealed. I didn't really open it. It's official Nintendo. Collectible coin, Triforce plush, a journal, a drinking glass, a vinyl decal, and a coin bank with some exclusive something. Vinyl collectible inside. No idea what that is. Oh, wait. It looks like a bag of rupees, like as if it's like spilling out. So I bet you that's what that is. Then I have an actual ocarina. I can't play it. It's a real instrument. Um, if you could play it, you'd be able to do the songs and everything like that. Uh, I remember I bought this online. I think it's a really cool replica. It still works. Like I said, if you know how to play the ocarina, you could definitely play it. I tried to teach myself. I am not musically gifted. So really, it's just a very nice decorative piece that goes on the shelf. We have the Zelda Breath of the Wild headphones. My headphones actually broke. I use them over there uh, when I do cassette tapes so I can listen. Only one of the ears work, but I did keep the case. Then we have Yahtzee Zelda edition. It got a little squished, but the dice, uh, all different colors. You shake it in the chest. While this sounds really fun, um, the chest is like a really cheap plastic and it makes so much noise when you shake it. Not that great. Going along with Zelda games, we've got Zelda Monopoly. This also got crushed in the box, a little sad. Still playable, still has everything in it. Don't really care what's inside of it, it's fine. Triforce piece, shield piece, bow piece, slingshot, hook shot, boomerang. You got the board, you got the cards, the different locations. So you got Hyrule Castle in the blue, Temple of Time. The really bad poopy brown parts that nobody likes. Uh, can't really read, Minish Village. You know, it's probably now all messed up in there. Next up, we have the Wind Waker Ganon figure. Uh, I didn't get the special edition. My friend at GameStop actually was given this by corporate as like a gift. After about a year of telling me he'd give it to me, he finally actually gave me the statue because I was really upset that I couldn't get the uh, special edition. I guess we're going to this. My girlfriend actually painted me this. Uh, it's watercolor. It was when the game got released. I think it was a birthday gift she gave me. I just love it so much. And uh, I hang it on my wall. So maybe one day I'll put it in back a stream. Then we have this statue of Twilight Link. Really cool. I have a few statues. I started to collect them in college. I also have Twilight Ganon we'll show you. And then two Wind Waker ones, or uh, Skyward Sword ones. Now you have the Ganon Twilight Princess statue. He just kind of pops off with his feet. Got the plate with the Triforce on it. Uh, he's got the Twilight Sword, which I think they just renamed the Dusk Blade or Dusk Claymore now in the new game. I like these statues a lot. They stand pretty tall, about a foot tall. He's really heavy compared to Link. Link is kind of light. I like the detail on his armor and everything like that. It's really cool. I like how they have like the Twilight pattern in his pants. But yeah, it's cool. Next, we'll go into my absolutely destroyed Breath of the Wild special edition, which is said. I was trying to keep this thing safe and clean and then it got crushed in a box. So that's unfortunate, but inside there was the game. I'm pretty sure I bought two copies of the game. I can explain that in a second. The switch case, soundtrack, map, and coin. Since I do have it open, we could just open it up. But I wound up buying the game first just to make sure I could get the game when I finally got the switch. Cause like I said, I missed it. And then like a week later, yeah, there's the extra game. I found a special edition in a Target. So this one's still sealed. It's got the Guardian on the back. I'm pretty sure the other one does not have that. Uh, sealed copy of the music. I think that's probably the first one I took the coin out. Sheikah symbol and then Breath of the Wild. You have the map, which you unfold and it basically explains like Calamity Ganon. There was like the, the root, the whatever they're called. I don't remember the divine beasts. It's front and back, which is pretty cool, but yeah. Most things like this, I just keep in the box. I don't really open them. Now we have the collector's edition, new Tears of the Kingdom. I did a video on this already. I'm not gonna open it up. There's a lot in here, it's heavy. I'm gonna keep this one very safe, um, along with my Switch box. If you guys wanna go check that out, check out the other video. I'll leave a uh, link at the end of this one. But this was really cool, love this. Since we're showing off things from the video, we also got the special edition Switch. It's docked over on my desk. I'm not gonna bring it over. If you want to see the video on this, there is another video too. But yeah, check out my channel. 
this was cool. I like this a lot. I wasn't expecting to be able to find this or collector's edition, so that was amazing that I did. Another collector's edition thing, it's got this book and then it's really heavy actually. I'll try to take it out. First, it got this like book from the um, Creating a Champion. I'm pretty sure it's just like art, but it's like a really fancy art book of like all of the art from the game. Um, this uh, is just so cool. Maybe we'll do a video going through all my art books. Like I'll flip through them really slowly. People can like check them out, pause. I don't know, it would take forever to flip through this book. But this is just really cool stuff that I think people would love to like see. But yeah. And inside this envelope, I'm pretty sure is like little pictures. Oh, it's a map. Oh no, is this the map of actual Hyrule? Holy, how big is this? Okay. My desk is six feet, so this is probably like three feet by like a foot and a half. I think it's upside down. Ugh, cause Goron Mountain goes at the top. Whoa. Well, that's cool. Is there another thing in there actually? Wait, what is this? Oh, oh, wait, that's so cool. It's the photo they all took together. By the way, I found this when I was looking through my teacher's notes. I was thinking you should be the one to keep it, Cass. Holy, wow, that's actually, this is really cool. Okay, I like this a lot more now. Can you see it? There's a, um, inside is like the symbol of like the goddess. But yeah, so they've got one of the symbols of the goddess in here. And I just think this is a really cool collectible uh, thing to have. Probably do an entire video just on this alone, to be honest. Then I guess we'll go through Amiibo. We do have every Zelda Amiibo. So we've got 8-Bit Link, Young Link. No idea where he's gonna go. I need to leave space. Just try and get them to fit here. Rider Link, Skyward Sword, Zelda and Loftwing Link. We are going to quickly run out of space. Wind Waker, dual Link with uh, Zelda. Zelda from Breath of the Wild. New Link from Tears of the Kingdom. Bokoblin Amiibo. Archer Link and Ocarina of Time Link. Then we have Rivali, the champion from Breath of the Wild, and Link with Goron Mask from Majora's Mask. Then you have the little tiny chibi Link from Link's Awakening. Where am I gonna put all these? Then you got Skyward Sword Link. I like the pose they picked. Definitely wish they did where he was like pointing the swords to the sky, but I see why that could be an issue. Then you have Daruk Amiibo. He is thick. This boy is beefy. Definitely one of my favorites too, uh, champion wise. Personality wise, was my favorite. Rivali, looks wise, ability wise, my favorite. So yeah, I got two separate favorites, I guess. Twilight Princess Link, I like the pose they picked. Then you have the last two champions, Urbosa and Mifa. And then uh, you have the Guardian Amiibo. This thing is beefy. This is bigger than Daruk. I don't even know where I would put him on a shelf or anything like that. But he stays in the box. And you have my five Smash Amiibo that I do have open. Ganondorf. At first I was training all of my Smash Amiibo and I was gonna put them against each other in like a tournament. And then I realized that, that was way too much work. Then there's a Sheik Amiibo. Toon Link, running, normal Link. Zelda. And now the way that I actually use the Amiibo without having to open them, I have the Amiibo cards like uh, Skyward Sword. All you do is you scan them. I'll put a link down below to where I bought them from. If you want, uh, I think it's like 39 cards for like $18. It's not a bad deal. 8-Bit uh, Link, Twilight Princess Link, then Zelda, Link Rider, Sheik, Bokoblin, Guardian, Archer Link, Wolf Link with the 20 hearts. And the last thing would be game guides. I lied. I have a few more things that I didn't see. I have the, I think it's Skyward Sword, um, Link's Scarf. I normally just like hang it on a shelf, put the pre-order bonus pins from Pokemon on it. Then we have, oh my God, there's no space. Skyward Sword Link statue. Like I said, I think you can open it to see. Oh, there he is. He's got that pose. There's also, I think a Skyward Sword boss, the pirate boss statue somewhere, but I'm not gonna go find that to be honest. We'll go through all of my Zelda books. Uh, I'm gonna stack them real quick there's a lot. <laughs> These, I think came from GameStop when 
they released um, Majora's Mask. It was like a little art book that you got with it. Uh, I don't know if it was, or was this fan art? I don't really remember where this came from. Uh, Hyrule Warriors character legend book. Kind of just goes through the characters, some quick designs. This I'm pretty sure was GameStop. Legend of Zelda Triforce Heroes. Got the special guidebook. Pretty cool. Has this little like screen cleaner in the back showing the heroes. But yeah, it's got like the guidebook, basically anything that you would need to help solve the game. Breath of the Wild guidebook. Again, anything you would need. Don't really use it ever. I just buy them because again, I collect them and I really like them. Hyrule Warriors Legends guidebook. Hyrule Warriors official game guide. Uh, that was the collector's edition guidebook. This is official bonus art selection. Still sealed. Twilight Princess, my original Wii guide. I feel like every time I buy a guidebook at the time, I'm like, wow, this is so stupid. Why am I buying it? And then as they get older and they're like harder to find, rarer, I guess. I'm really glad that I did buy them. My Majora's Mask guidebook. I had this one as a kid. Like I said, I never owned the game. I bought it from GameStop. And I think this was like gifted to us by like my cousin. But it's missing like everything. So between moving once and then uh, just being a kid, this got torn apart. Same thing for my Ocarina of Time guidebook. This thing has seen better days. But I just used this with the song sheet to actually help me beat Ocarina of Time uh, on stream. Legend of Zelda Symphony of the Goddess. I bought this actually at the Nintendo store. It's just the piano sheet music. Just something I thought was really cool to collect. And when I did go to the Nintendo store, there wasn't anything I really wanted. And it wasn't that expensive, so I decided to pick it up. Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, uh, story and art. So it's got like a guide, like not a guidebook, like a comic book, I guess. Not really a manga, but yeah, it'd be really cool. I should probably read it. I do want to buy the um, Zelda Twilight Princess manga. I hear that's really good. So that's on my uh, list of things I want to purchase. It also just ended, so. Phantom Hourglass, this goes along with the game and the case I got. Like I said, huge Zelda fan growing up. This is a fan-made book for Legend of Zelda. I think it's a fan drawing of like all the monsters. I think I have a Pokemon one too. Things like that. It's just like an art book. It's really cool. It's like a encyclopedia on all the items. Then you have the art and artifacts Legend of Zelda. This is a beefy, beefy book. This thing is heavy. It's also made by Dark Horse who did the blue Breath of the Wild book that we just went through. That had like the picture in it and everything. But like the art in this in these games are just so amazing. Like to look through this is just nostalgic. Zant. But yeah. Quick little flip through. The games when they came out. Little sprites, things like that. And then I guess they promoted Breath of the Wild in here too. Then you have Hyrule History, which I'm pretty sure they like changed up <laughs> the history of Zelda from in here. This was where the original timeline was like broken down. Um, and people explained that like it started with Skyward Sword and then it would continue on. And then Twi or Ocarina of Time is where it split. Whoa, I don't know if I've ever actually looked through this. Then we have the Collector's Edition Majora's Mask guidebook, gold on the side. It's got stickers. And then you can use it to solve the game. But special edition, gold, trim. Got one also for, I think this one's Twilight Princess, right? Yeah, Twilight Princess Zelda HD. Again, it's got like a little map in it. They all come with something special. I think this game had like the coolest color schemes in it. Everything just kind of was like dark and it matched nice. And then the last Zelda thing I own that I can find currently, there's probably more to be honest, because there's definitely all my Game Boy games and other things like that. This hefty treasure chest that's full of game guides so we can open some up. Magnetic. Ooh. It's got a little Legend of Zelda. It's got uh, a letter of authenticity in here. Certification. 
I keep this thing very nice. So you've got Legend of Zelda, Wind Waker, HD, Skyward Sword, um, Phantom Hourglass, you've got The Legend of Zelda, Twilight Princess, Spirit Tracks, and Ocarina of Time. And to get them out, you just pull the first copy out. Again, the gold. They're just, I don't know, they're so nice. I should probably switch them all back around. I think a friend probably took them out to look at them. Spirit Tracks, Ocarina of Time. I actually kind of want to look through that one. And as you can see on the front, they've got the ocarina. I should have used this to help me solve the uh, the game instead of my old original one. Probably a way more updated guide than the last one. And that is everything Zelda I own. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, there's definitely more stuff coming out that I will be buying. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If there's anything you guys want to see more of, any other videos, I'm thinking of doing one of these for Pokemon. Uh, if you want to see anything else closer, let me know down in the comments. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. See you guys. Good luck on your uh, Tears of the Kingdom playthrough. Peace.